Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're gonna be taking a look at how to link an Excel sheet into your drawing, uh, creating a data linked table. Uh, that's gonna save you a ton of time. I hope you guys enjoy and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. If you guys like this tip or any of the others on the channel, don't forget to check out my productivity webinar where I go over uh, a ton of AutoCAD workflows, tips, tricks, and more to save you guys time. Uh, it's an hour long and packed full of stuff. Uh, I'll put a discounted link down below for all of you, uh, as well as up above. All right, let's get going. All right, so before we get started, you're gonna to wanna to have an Excel file that you want to bring in and link. Uh, in my case, I've got this basic little window schedule that I've put together for this example. I'm gonna bring it in and add it to my drawing. Uh, so we're just gonna save it here. I've got my path on the other window that we're gonna use in a second, but you can see it's just a basic table. You're gonna to wanna to format it as much as you can within Excel. Uh, and then you're just gonna to wanna to save that and remember where it is. Now back in AutoCAD, you're gonna to wanna to go to the Annotate tab and then over to Tables where you can choose Extract Data and Data Link. So you'll see it over here. We want to link our data. So you're gonna click the Link Data. It's gonna bring up our Data Link Manager and from here you simply double click on Create a New Excel Data Link. You're gonna give it a name. I'm gonna call it Window, window Schedule. Uh, we'll call it one and it's going to ask us where our file is saved so this is where you're going to want to remember that path from earlier wherever you've saved your file i'm just going to go over here and grab our window schedule next you can choose whether it's going to be a relative full or no path this is the same as xrefs uh, i'm going to leave it as the default relative uh, if you need more information in that you can click the help or uh, look up how these paths work within XRefs or data links. Next, it's gonna ask us here uh, which sheet we would like to use. In my Excel, uh, I've only got one sheet, but if you have multiple sheet tabs down here on your Excel, then you're gonna be able to choose which one you'd like to link within your drawing. And then you're gonna be able to uh, choose a cell range or named range or link the entire sheet. Uh, you could use this down here and choose a range. So I know that I want A1 all the way over to F8. So that's gonna make sure that it brings in just the uh, cells that I've got data in. And now in this case, it's saying the preview is too large to display. I'm just gonna hit OK. And now it's going to bring us back to the data link manager where we can see that we have our uh, window schedule one linked to the drawing. So now we're just gonna hit OK. And now we can create our table. So you're gonna to wanna to use a uh, table scale or table style that you've previously set up. You can use the default standard. Uh, and then all you need to do is select from your data link down here, choose your window schedule and hit OK. Now you can see it's brought it into my drawing. I can choose where to place it. I'm just gonna put it over here near my uh, floor plan and you can see that all the data has been linked dynamically to my Excel table This is going to be a dynamic link so you can make changes or someone else can make changes to your Excel table and When it's saved and you've reloaded your drawing these changes are going to take effect in here so for example if we change I'm gonna change the uh, number five to a seven foot by seven foot window on the left here. So you can see that I have changed these dimensions to seven and seven. I'm just going to save my file. And now back in AutoCAD, by selecting the table, right clicking and going to uh, down here to update table links, you can automatically bring in the updated data from our Excel. You also have the ability within AutoCAD to uh, choose your table and go to data links here and then edit data link. So this is going to open our uh, data link and we, from here we can change settings like our range, 
uh, switch it to link an entire sheet or change the sheet that we're linking to. So these edits can all be made after you've already brought it in. Uh, and these are going to sync live back to the Excel data. This can be super useful for quantity takeoffs, volumes, uh, reference lists, uh, anything you're going to use Excel for, uh, maybe before you would copy paste, or maybe you would create your tables within AutoCAD, uh, which as you know, can be kind of a slow and tedious process, especially if you already have Excel and you're familiar with it. So there you go. That's a quick two minute Tuesday uh, look at linking data, in particular, Excel tables. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. If you'd like me to dive deeper or show uh, more examples, uh, let me know that. And if you like this tip or any of the tips on the channel, don't forget to check out my productivity webinar, uh, which is on sale right now for all of my viewers for 20% off. I'll put that link in the description down below. Thanks again for watching. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.